गुड आफ्टरनून ओके आई एम चितारे योगेश फ्रॉम पी पी सी वाई बारामती सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फंडामेंटल ऑफ लेजर्स ओके सो सिंपली लेजर इज नथिंग बट लाइट एम्प्लीफिकेशन बाय स्टिम्युलेटेड इमिशन ऑफ रेडिएशन फर्स्ट वी लुक दैट हाउ लेजर लाइट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ द ऑर्डिनरी लाइट सो द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस इज दैट Uh, laser light is the unidirectional but that ordinary light is not the unidirectional it's move in a all directions second one is that uh, laser light is the highly intense light while the ordinary light is not uh, intense as compared to laser light laser light is the monochromatic so monochromatic is simply nothing but uh, the light which having the single frequency the light which having the single wavelength or the light which having the single color that we can call it is the monochromatic so such type of properties have the laser but in case of an ordinary light uh, there is a polychromatic light again the laser light is the coherent light means the whatever is the waves coming from that laser light will be in a same phase while in case of an ordinary light uh, that uh, waves coming from the source are out of phase that's why we can say that laser light is the coherent light and uh, the last one is that a uh, laser light can be focused on a uh, tiny spot sometimes laser is the uh, gives sensation to the human eyes also okay. now we look about the interaction of light with matter actually light is interacts with the matter in three different cases first one is the absorption second one is that the spontaneous emission and third one is the stimulated emission so first we look about the absorptions okay generally what happen all atoms are living in a ground state le level suppose we are considering that there are the two energy level e1 and the e2 e1 is the ground state level e2 is the excited state or we can call it is the higher state energy level so when atom is residing at the ground state so that external amount of energy that uh, or external amount of photons having such energy h nu which is equal to the difference between that e2 minus e1 such amount of energy which incident on the ground state atom so that ground state atom absorb that amount of energy and it goes to the excited state so in a simple way we say that the absorption is nothing but the rising of atoms from ground state to the excited state such state is called as an absorptions second is the spontaneous emission now there are difference between the emission so two types of the emission one is the spontaneous emission another is the stimulated emission okay but uh, before that we look about what is meant by the emission so simply emission is nothing but when your atoms or the electron are in the excited state or we can say that it is in a higher energy state and when it comes down to the ground state it emits some amount of energy and that energy is equal to the difference between that two energy level that is called as an emission so the first emission is the spontaneous emission and that spontaneous emission is different from that of the stimulated emission so spontaneous emission is a uh, when atom in the excited state it lives for the very short lifetime and spontaneously it comes down okay and when that atom is spontaneously comes down that emitted photons are move in uh, all directions so this is called as an spontaneous emission and the stimulated emission is nothing but your atom is already in the excited state and that atom or the electron wait in the excited state so to occurs the stimulated emission we must have the higher energy state must be the metastable state so when you were metas you have the metastable state then the stimulated emission is occurs so major difference between the spontaneous emission and the stimulated emission is that whatever is the outcoming photons from that spontaneous emission are moves in a uh, all directions or we can say that whatever is the photons coming from that spontaneous emission or the light coming from that spontaneous emission are not the monochromatic light that uh, emitted photons are moves in uh, all entire directions while in case of a stimulated emission whatever is the photons comes from uh, stimulated emission that moves in uh, only one direction means all the photons are in a uh, same phase that's why laser is responsible for the stimulated emission so to occurs that stimulated emission we must have the metastable state once we got the metastable states we got the stimulated emission so metastable state is nothing but the state which having the higher lifetime meta is simply nothing but more and stable means the lifetime of that electron or the atom in the excited state so generally the metastable state having the lifetime is of the order of 10 days to the minus 3 second while in case of an spontaneous emission that lifetime is the 10 days to the minus 8 second 
so once you have the electron staying capacity up to the 10 to the power minus 3 second so that state is called as an metastable state okay. so this is just the light amplification is the one of the features of that stimulated emission means once we got the two photons from that two photons we got the four from that four we got the eight from eight we got the 16 so in this way uh, we can say that uh, this is the features of that stimulated emission that is the light amplification so there are some requirements for the laser light one of them is the active medium second one is the metastable state then is the population population inversion stimulated emission light amplification optical resonator and the pumping okay so we look about the pumping pumping is the process on which atoms are raised from the ground state to the higher energy state or we can say that it is the excited energy state so there are uh, pumping is uh, there are different types of that pumping one of them is the optical pumping second one is that the electrical pumping so in case of an optical pumping we are using the flash lamp while in case of an electrical pumping uh, we are using the gas discharge or we supply the some voltage so optical pumping is responsible only for the solid laser electrical pumping is required for any type of the gas laser so there are different mechanism two level pumping mechanism three level pumping mechanism and the four level pumping mechanism so the major difference in that in case of a two level pumping mechanism there are only two energy level in case of a three level pumping scheme there are three energy levels in case of a four level pumping there are the four energy level so we talk about the three level pumping in case of a three level pumping uh, energy level e1 e2 and the e3s are there okay so first atoms are goes from level e1 to the e3 then spontaneously comes to the level e2 now in case of a three level pumping e2 is the metastable state and when there is the metastable state the nearly energy uh, or in between that two energy means the energy level e2 and energy level e1 in between population inversion is occurs so that population in inversion is nothing but number of atoms is more in the excited state as compared to their lower state so in case of a three level pumping scheme e2 the population inversion is occurs between the level e2 and level e1 so somewhat different the four level pumping scheme in case of a four level pumping scheme there are four energy levels e1 e2 e3 and the e4 so in that first your atom goes from the energy level e1 to the e4 then spontaneously comes to the level e3 now in this four level e3 is the metastable state so that population inversion is occurs between the e3 and e2 and then again uh, once at the atoms reach at the energy level e2 it comes to the level e1 with the depopulations okay. so there are uh, optical resonator is the one of the concept in that optical resonator there are two mirrors are used in which one of is the highly reflecting other is the partially reflecting and uh, output is the coupler form. Okay. so there are different types of the lasers also solid laser liquid laser gas laser and the semiconductor laser the example of that solid laser is the ruby laser we can say that it is the NDIAG laser, liquid laser, liquid dye lasers, in case of a gas laser, helium neon laser and the CO2 lasers and uh, semiconductor lasers is the type, uh, last type of that laser. So that uh, the uh, difference between the solid state laser, so to work that solid state laser we require the three level pumping scheme, to work for the semiconductor laser we require the for that semiconductor laser it depends upon the two level pumping scheme and the gas laser it totally depends upon the four level laser scheme and this is the schematic of uh, laser.